Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings to improve your gameplay and performance in GeForce Now. Also, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can reduce your input latency, waiting time and much more. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, make sure to do leave a comment down below about your specs and watch this video till the end for better results. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, first things first, you have to locate your GeForce Now shortcut or anything on your desktop. You have to simply right click, go and click on open file location. This will take you to the GeForce Now installation directory. In here, you're looking for geforcenow.json file. All you need to do is double click to open it up. And if it does not open up, you have to simply right click, open it up with notepad. This will open up a window just like that. You have to scroll all the way down until you find something called NVSDL IOHID configurable. You have to set this thing to true and then simply press Ctrl S or go to file and save this. Then close your geforcenow.json file and you have to close this folder. Now you have to open up your geforce now and once this window opens up, you have to click on these three lines go over to the settings part. Now, once you are in the settings of GeForce Now, you have to scroll down and go over to the server location. What you're looking for is the nearest server location to you. The servers are located all around the world. And if you click on this button, you will see the list of all of the servers that are available. Now you have to open up a map or locate yourself and select which one you're nearest to. If you don't know about it, you can always select auto, but that's not recommended. I live near EU Southeast, so I will select EU Southeast. Then scroll down until you find the streaming quality, select custom and then set your max bitrate. To set the max bitrate, you need to open up speed test. You can download this application or you can go to speed test. Simply click on this go button and then wait for a while until this does the job for you. As you guys can see, I have a download speed of 112.93 Mbps and the upload speed is somewhere around 169.99. Now what you need to do is divide your upload speed by 10. So basically I'll get somewhere between 16.9 or 17 you can say. So for the max bitrate, you need to set this to custom and scroll it down to 17 Mbps. That is the internet speed. Then for the resolution, I recommend you guys to play on a lower resolution so you get the lowest amount of input latency. For frame rate, always go for 60. V-Sync should be set to adaptive. Then Reflex and HDR, you don't need them. And adjust for poor connection, you have to turn this thing on. Then scroll down and find direct mouse input. Once again, this is the option why we did the first step. You won't see this option until you do the first step. So you have to turn this thing on. And for the resolution upscaling, you can go with standard. But if you're located in Asia or Southeast Asia and facing high ping issues or longer waiting time, I would suggest you guys to go for a more powerful platform known as Boosteroid. It has much lower latency and has no waiting time. The best part is you don't even need an application. You can play on the website as well. Also, there is a huge library of games including GTA 5, which isn't available on GeForce now. Also, Boostroid has a very cleaner interface and no complex settings. That means it is really easy to play. However, Boostroid is paid to play, but it's definitely worth it. So I'd recommend you guys to go and check it out. Step number three is allowing your GeForce Now through Windows Defender Firewall. This could be the reason why you are facing a very huge waiting time. And to fix this, you need to search for allow an app through firewall. You will find it in your windows. Once you are here, you need to click on this change setting button and then click on allow another app. Now go over to browse and then find the installation directory of your GeForce Now. What you need to do is add geforcenow.exe, click on open, then click on add. If it is already added, it will show you this list of exception error. You need to click on OK, click on Browse once again, then add the GeForce Now container.exe. Then click on Open, click on Add, and that should be added. Now you need to make sure that there is a tick mark on both private and public sector. Click on Allow app once again, go to Browse, and now add the montage.exe. Click on Open, click on Add, and 
if it is already added here, you will see the exception error once again. Click on OK, click on Browse, scroll down and add the GeForce Now streamer here. Click on Add and it is already added. So if you have all of them added, you need to make sure that there is a tick mark in front of both of these things. It could be a possible reason why you are facing input lag, higher ping issues, high latency and much more. By doing this step, it can be fixed. Next step is creating a restore point and it is really, really important. For that, you need to click on create a restore point and then go over to the system protection. Then find your local disk C or the drive which says system, click on create and name it GeForce Now or something that you can remember. Simply click on create and let it do its job. This will ensure your system safety. If anything happens to your PC, you can always roll back any changes that you have done to protect it. Once it is done, you can simply click on close and close system properties. And the last step is GeForce Now input delay pack. This pack will help you to optimize your keyboard and mouse input latency, allow your devices to perform much more efficiently. You have to download this pack from the link in the description below, open it up and you will find in five files. All of these files is the keyboard buffer file, which is basically a registry in your PC that allows how fast your keyboard or your mouse will respond to your PC. Now you have to leave your mouse and keyboard specifications down in the comments below and I will be telling you guys which file to choose from. There are four files and the last one is the default keyboard buffer and this will significantly drop your input latency, not just in GeForce now, but in all games. Once again, if you're unsatisfied with the changes, you can always click on this default keyboard buffer and it will set everything back to normal. So guys, that will give you the lower amount of input latency, help you fix waiting time or any other problems, increase your performance in GeForce Now. I hope this video might have helped you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. We are really close to 120,000 subscribers. I do believe in you guys. We'll see you in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Parafox and peace out.